Hey Gemini, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post. Anyways, with, uh, with that being said, this should resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I don't know if I already said that. I'm going to say it again. So don't come for me in the comments if I already did. Um, if you're a cross watcher, welcome to the fuckery. Um, and, uh, this, this could either apply for you or your partner, depending on your guys' situation. It could be flip. It just, it really good. It's just really depends. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go over the overall energy for this time span, um, your current situation, what's causing the situation, your hopes and your, your hopes or fears with the relationship. Let's go ahead and hop into your reading. All right. Gemini. So overall energy, romance. Ooh, step out of your comfort zone, North Node. I don't think I've seen this card yet, so I'm pretty stoked about it. All right, what's the current situation for Gemini with romance? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Definitely something new is going on. There's some type of solid offer being given here. What's causing this? What's the cause of this? Page of Cups, maybe a uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Somebody's making you, uh, there's something surprising coming for you, okay? What is Gemini's hopes or fears with this um, relationship? Ooh, Ten of Cups, maybe a Pisces. That's definitely Pisces energy. Um, okay, and what is the outcome? for this next couple of weeks with love for Gemini. Come on, little guys. Woo, there you go. Mm. Release your ex. Okay, so remember how I said like it may be some type of um, new energy that's kind of coming into play here. I definitely feel like that. This feels very new to me. Um, for those of you guys that are single or for those of you guys that are in a shitty relationship, um, there's definitely somebody new coming in. That's what I get heavily. Or you're already talking to this person and um, trying to, you know, build a relationship with them. But I definitely feel very strongly on this that uh, something new is coming in, okay? Now, looking at everything here, <clears throat> this is pretty well balanced. And especially for us Geminis, not having any swords here, I think that's key. I think that's huge. This is a situation we're not in our head. We're not overly fixated on. Um, you know, it, it, it's beautiful. Also, too, something to think about with this North Node card. This is all about... Um, leaving the past behind okay somehow because right now where you guys are going it's in the right direction but it's important to release your past if you want to be happy and you want to feel like you know everything is going well in life um it's it, it's advised that we do things that scare us right i mean of course like within reason so not like hey go jump off a cliff no without a bungee cord okay not like that um, but it's saying like, Hey, if you like somebody, tell them, right, get out of your head. Don't think about it for three years and then finally try to express it by this time that person's moved on. Right. This is saying like, if you want something, express it. Right. This is also about, you know, your life purpose. Um, and it's also urging us to do something different, right? Take an action, take some type of action. If you're somebody who waits for somebody to come to you, you go to them right? If you're somebody who tends to, you know, be in your mind, don't, you know, instead of thinking about it, just fucking do it, right? Like Nike. Hello, Nike. Um, also too, it's just saying like, why, you know, once everything happens, because there's a good chance here, like there's a lot of potential here that you're headed towards your destiny. Okay. It feels like this is where you're supposed to be. And once you do it, it like this card is like here, like, you're gonna think like, why the hell did I wait so long? Why did I wait so long to release my shitty ex, okay? Why did I even think I could keep that relationship when this new person has everything that I want and everything that I need? 
It's also time to stop obsessing about somebody or something. It didn't work out. Move the fuck on. Next, okay? You got this. It's time to stand on our own two feet. And it's really time to stop obsessing over something that's not working, right? Sometimes we want to know, why didn't it work? Okay, why? I don't understand. Explain it to me again. That's my, that's my line. Ask Vicky. I'm always like, but why? Well, can you explain to me why? And at some point, you know, somebody has to step in and say, who the fuck cares why? It happened. You're not supposed to understand something bad. You're not supposed to understand something bad that's happened with an ex. Like if an ex has done you wrong, you're not supposed to understand it. Let me explain to you why. Because if you understand it, then you're a shitty person too. Okay? Hello. Right? You can't understand something that wasn't meant to be understood. And I feel like a lot of times, especially with the universe, it's telling you, you know, stop. You don't need to understand it. It happened accept it, acknowledge it, and move on. By moving on from whatever type of situation, you have something brand new and something that looks like it's very beautiful, okay? Rant over, I'm sorry. That rant was for myself also, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, honestly, like this card, like I needed to hear this shit too because I'm always like, but I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make logical sense, like drives people crazy. All right, so why is this? Oh, I already looked at those cards. Why is this our situation? Oh, also too, if you guys are currently in limbo and kind of tired of the day-to-day -day grind, right? It's just like, wake up, take a shower, brush your teeth, go to work, come home, cook dinner, whatever. All that is gonna be changing. You guys are gonna have forward movement towards something that's gonna be very, very healthy for you, okay? Um, like I think I said, possibly dealing with any of the water signs or they could have water in their chart. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Gemini? Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Cups. Like I said earlier, it's a new, it, it's definitely either a new beginning with um, an old relationship, which I don't think it's old. There's nothing here like a comeback kid, okay? But it's definitely something here like that's brand new and it's something refreshing. Something that, you know, you've asked for, magician, okay? Gemini, uh... Taurus or I'm sorry, Gemini, Virgo or Aries. Okay. But it's something that you've asked for. It's something that you've communicated to the universe. And the situation is it's here. It's something that you not only have thought about, right, but you've actually manifested it. You express to the universe what you want. I want somebody who loves me, who somebody who can actually make a f actual like solid offer, something for me to touch, but it's also loving and caring at the same time. Universe is like, okay, done, boom. Release your ex, right? And then you have this, okay? That's what's causing this situation. Why is the Page of Cups here for Gemini? Why is, why is this causing? Okay, Two of Pentacles reversed. So Gemini, if you were trying to decide between two people or if you were talking to two people, probably more knowing Gemini, and I'm saying that with utmost respect because you know my ass is a Gemini. Uh, the reason that you're being surprised here with all this love and this newness, right? This new, really good, found, like, you know, like it feels good is because you decided to release one of them. You decided to let one go. You made a choice. It's like the time was ticking. You couldn't have both. So you had to let one go in order for somebody to make you a solid offer. Mm-hmm. And it's coming out of being the hermit. You know, you thought long and hard. You made a choice. You made a decision. And here you go. Could possibly be dealing with a Virgo or somebody that has Virgo in their chart. Um, whoa. Six of Pentacles. Again, now this was either you giving to multiple people, like I said previously, or this could be, you know, you really investing in somebody. You taking the time to say, you know what, I'm going to invest in this person because I believe in them whether it's financially, whether it's emotionally or physically, like the fact that you're giving to somebody, that says a lot. And by you giving, it takes things to a whole nother level. It's showing a whole different side of you, okay? And it's the King of Cups. So again, maybe dealing with somebody that uh, Cancer, Pis Pisces or Scorpio in their chart, if that's not their first sign, maybe it's a moon sign or a Venus. Um, 
But this person, the reason you're getting love and attention is because they are the king of cups. Like, they understand where you're broken and how to fix you. They understand what you need emotionally. And I feel like what you need emotionally right now, Gemini, is something that you haven't had for a period of time. Okay? Why is this Gemini's hopes? Knight of Cups. See? What are you hoping for? You're hoping for, you know, this. Happiness. Just emotional fulfillment. Financially, you're like, I'm cool financially. I just need emotional fulfillment right now. And I want that offer. I want my knight in shining armor to come sweep me off my feet and say, hey, I fucking love you. I want to move forward with you. And I want to do this. Okay. I'm no longer stuck with, you know, what we need to do. You know, you want, you know, to get married, which is surprising for Gemini. You know, you want to settle down. You want to have some type of fulfillment, some type of, you know, Solid ground to put your feet on. That's what I get. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, uh, Capricorn, or Virgo. But it's also, too, it's like becoming that wife. But then also, you know, having the physical aspect of it slapped in with that emotional aspect. And I feel like that's what you want. Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Right? It's having both of these. But it's not being in your head about it. You're not questioning this person's love for you because it's out front and it's in the air. It's like right there, right? Okay, so for your guys' uh, outcome card, you have released the X. Uh, the time has come to clear your energy, okay? Gemini, that is a beautiful reading. I love you guys and uh, you guys always appreciate my humor and my day-to-day -day fuckery. So I appreciate you and I hope you guys have a bomb-ass weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.